part B. Write the first four, write the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for f prime, the derivative of f. Express f prime as a rational function for the absolute value of x being less than r, our radius of convergence. So if we want to find f prime, we could just take each of we could just take the derivative of each of these terms with respect to x. And so we could just say, if this is f, then f prime, and I'm not going to scroll down just so I can see this up here, we could just say f prime, f prime of x is going to be going, or the Maclaurin series for f prime of x, maybe I should write it that way. So let me write it this way. Maclaurin, 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 that a looked funny, Maclaurin series for f prime, f prime of x, well, it's going to be the sum from n equals one to infinity, and we would just take the derivative of this right over here with respect to x. And so this is just a application of the power rule. Take the exponent right over here, multiply it by the coefficient. So if you take n times this, it cancels out with this n. So it's going to be negative three to the n minus one, and then decrement your exponent times x to the n minus one. And so they want us to write the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series. So that is going to be equal to, so I'll write approximately equal to, because we're only going to write the first four of, of terms of this infinite series. And just to be clear what I did, I just did the power rule here. I looked at this exponent, which is n, multiplied by this coefficient, which had an n in the denominator, so that n and the, this n cancel out. So I'm just left with negative three to the n minus one, and then I decrement that exponent. That's straight out of the power rule, one of the first things you learned about taking derivatives. And so, if we want the first four non-zero terms, when n equals one, this is going to be negative three to the one minus one power, oh, let me just write it, negative three to the one minus one times x to the one minus one, that's when n equals one, plus negative three, negative three to the two minus one, two minus one, times x to the two minus one, and then, and actually I could, well, I could have just written this as negative three x to the n minus one. Actually, let me, let me do that, just for, so this is, this I could just write, because they have the same exponent, this will simplify a little bit, as negative three x, to the n minus one. And so this is going to be approximately, when n is equal to one, this is going to be equal to zero, so negative three x to the zero power is just going to be one. When n is equal to, when n is equal to two, this is going to be two minus one, so it's going to be the first power, so negative three x to the first power, so I could just write this as negative three x. And then when n is three, well, this is going to be negative three x squared. So negative three x squared is going to be, negative three squared is nine x squared. And then the fourth term is gonna be negative three x to the four minus one power, so to the third power. So negative three to the third power is negative 27 times x to the third power. So there you have it. That's the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series. You could have also just looked over here and said, okay, the derivative of x is, with respect to x is one. Derivative of negative three half x squared with respect to x is negative three. You could have said the derivative of this is nine x squared, right over there. And then you would have had to write out the fourth term and take out this, the derivative in the same way, and you would have gotten this right over here. So we did the first part. We wrote the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for f prime, the derivative of f. And then they say express f prime as a rational function for the absolute value of x being less than r. So this sum, this sum, if we assume it converges, and we know the radius of convergence already, so, or assuming that we're dealing with x that are within the radius of convergence. So this right over here, you might recognize this. So I could write it like that, or I could also write it I could also write it, if I take, if I start at n equals zero, so I could also write this as from n equals one to infinity of, or actually from n equals zero to infinity of negative three x 
to the n minus 1, either, or sorry, to the n, because now the first term is to the zeroth power. That first term was to the zeroth power. So whether you do 1 minus 1 is where you start, or you just start at 0, these two things are equivalent. You might recognize these as a geometric series with common ratio of negative, of negative 3x. And so what's the sum of a geometric series with common ratio, with a certain common ratio? Well, it's going to be equal to the first term, and regardless of how you view this, the first term is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So our common ratio is negative 3x. 1 minus negative 3x, well, that's just going to be 1 plus 3x. If what I just did here looks unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to watch the sum of infinite geometric series. And not only do we show you this formula and how to apply it, but we show how you can prove this formula. It's actually a, a pretty fun proof. But anyway, regardless of how you view this Maclaurin series, it is an infinite geometric series. And this assuming that our x is in our radius of convergence, this is what our sum is, this is what we are going to converge to.